sweet and happy afternoon to one and all present here. I am here to give a speech about India yesterday, today, tomorrow. 69 years had rolled over since India got her independence. Yet, where do we Indians stand in the global arena? First, the partition of Pakistan from India triggered of the ghetto disturbances. It raised for many days, but Mahatma's past untold death brought all communal clashes to a grinding halt. What happened thereafter was total disgrace, assassination of Mahatma. India's economy at that time was in jeopardy. Oppression of women, child marriage, poverty, illiteracy, while all these posed the problem, there was this natural calamity, earthquake, volcanic eruption, fire, flood, all these haunted the innocent people. UNICEF, United Nation International Children's Education Fund reported that 10,000 people of India died due to malnutrition and lack of medical aid. How shameful! Moreover, 360 million people live below poverty line and 360 million people are illiterate. To find solution for all these, a five-year plan was implemented in 1951. It searched the nation at snail space. Since then, many five-year plans were implemented. Population also increased steadily. More government and private sectors also emerged. Transport, communication, electricity and so many advancements were made in every nook and corner of the nation. Meanwhile, two wars with China and one war with Pakistan dented our Indian economy once again. A hearty thanks to Mr. M. S. Swaminathan, the father of Green Revolution, who made a miracle in food processing and so did Dr. Vergis Kurian, the father of white revolution in milk production. The notable thing is, these two achievements were made by two Indian individuals and not by politicians. Today, India has developed dramatically and drastically. Nuclear power, IT, more MNCs doing business here, five-star hotels and hospitals, aviation, educational drones, metro rail, thus the, imp the, thus the improvements is immense. Tomorrow, what will India be? Will it become a superpower or remain stagnant? Will the Indian government come forward with good proposals? What will India be tomorrow is what India going to do today. Thank you.